Just briefly, you know, uh, should we refer to you as Mr. or as, as Colonel Mulife? Or is, is, is the, the title of Colonel an appropriate one to refer to you? Or we can just refer to you as uh, Mr. Mulife. When we dealt with uh, the terms of reference for this process that we're engaged in, we ultimately adopted a document which said that the object of this process is to investigate allegations of governance failures at ESCOM, Transnet, and DINEL. And broadly because of a genuine observation that had been made that there's a family, a Gupta family, whom you say you have visited recurrently, which appoints board members of state-owned companies, influence the appointment of senior executive, determines how procurement should be handled and who should be recipient of such procurement. So amongst others, that is the, the context within which you are working at. So all the questions that we're going to deal with here are ultimately directed towards uh, finding certain in terms of what we're dealing with. So you're previously with PIC, so did you have any work in between PIC and Transnet? When I left uh, PIC, I um, had a uh, an agreement with Investec, uh, where they uh, agreed to, where we agreed to look for investments in property uh, with the Investec property division, um, and um, so I was going to work. We were going to work together uh, to identify these uh, opportunities, but. Um, Eventually, um, uh, I decided that um, I would go to Transnet, and uh, uh, that is where I went. You decided that you're going to go to Transnet, or you were approached that you must go to Transnet? I decided to go to Transnet. Oh, oh, there was a vacancy there, and then you applied for it? Yes, there was a vacancy for a chief executive officer. Okay, at what time did you meet with the members of the Gupta family? Uh, was it during that time of working for Investec or after you had been employed in Transnet or far much earlier? Uh, Before, I have said that they had applied for funding at the PIC, which we declined. So I knew them by then. So of those Gupta members, who did you specifically had, had, had met before? AJ, Atul, or...? Mr. AJ Gupta. Which one? AJ. AJ. Yeah. So that is the one that you had relations with. So when you we were working for Investec, was there a time where Fana Shlongwani came to you and said that they can find you a better job elsewhere than working for Investec in a small desk? No, no. No. You have never had any in, in interaction with Fana Shlongwani? during that period? No, I met Fanat Longwani at Norman Mashabani's funeral. Uh, we talked a little bit, that was it. And before you applied for the Transnet job, uh, did you ever meet with uh, Mr. Jacob Zoom in that, in that period there? No, I did not meet with Mr. Jacob Zoom. Did you meet with any members of the Gupta family or, or any of the following people? Salim Issa or Gary Peter or Nazim Hoa or Anod Singh before you took the job in a Transnet? No. I actually have never met Mr. Salim Issa. Gary Peter I met at uh, Transnet. I also met Anod Singh at Transnet. So, so what, when, when did Anod Singh uh, arrive in a in Transnet, before or after you had arrived there? At Transnet? Yes. Anoch Singh, I found him at uh, Transnet. You found him there? Yeah. There was a 
Mr. There was an acting Wells. Mr. Chris Wells was the CFO. And Gary Peter, you found him there as well? Yeah, Gary Peter was there as well. And have you ever met with Eric Wood? I think Eric Wood came to Transnet once, wanting to do a very, a, a hedge, some kind of a transaction, a financial, very complicated transaction that even I found uh, I didn't understand, and I, I dismissed him, and I said, no, I don't have, understand. Have you ever met with Nazim Hoa? Yes, Nazim was, uh, was at the New Age. You met him when you were in Transnet? When I was at Transnet. And then what was the context of the meeting? He was at the New Age. They wanted sponsorship for the breakfasts. They wanted... Uh, uh, he called me about um, news-related things for the new age at the time. And, and what ended up happening? Did you end up giving them any contract from Transnet? Yeah, the Transnet did sponsor the new age breakfasts. But uh, yeah, we did sponsor the new age, several of the new age breakfasts. And then has Dudizani Zuma ever spoken to you about anything uh, when you were in Transnet? Uh or maybe later on when we're in ESCOM? No, we have never spoken about anything with uh, Mr. Dudu Zanizuma. And but I have met him. We were at some birthday party of a one-year-old child and he came.